class. So before we start, I'm requesting all of you to please rise and I'm requesting Mr. Cruz to please lead the prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. So I've checked already your attendance and all of you are present today. That's great. And before we proceed to our new topic, let us recall the past lesson. Who can recall it? Anyone from the class? Okay, Miss Reyes. Very good. Our last topic is all about earthquake. Okay, class. Have you ever imagined the internal structure of the earth? You could think of it as an egg, and you could think of it as an apple. And based on what I presented, who has any idea from the class? Anyone? Okay, the first to stand up will get five points. Okay, Miss Villaruel. Okay, very good. That's a very good idea. Anyone? Okay. Thank you for that wonderful analysis about the image. Well, I think all of you has an idea of what our topic for today. So, to start it, let us create an experiment. To really believe this analogy, let's create it. In the class, what I told you before that you should bring the materials needed for the experiment, and those are the apple fruit, a boiled egg, and a plastic knife. And please, class, ensure that no one will harm when you use that knife. So now, please go to your respective groups and form a circle. Follow the instructions given and do the experiment safely and quietly. Class, after you watch the videos presented in my projector, you should observe very well because we will going to have our next activity entitled To See is to Believe. C stands for cooperation. This time, cooperation is the key to finish your task. So referring for the question that I've asked you from the start, have you ever imagined the internal structure of the earth? The answer is yes. We could imagine it through analogies using an apple fruit or a boiled egg. For your final project, I'm requiring you individually to create a model that illustrates the Earth's interior structure with using recyclable materials. And I'm allowing you to surf on the internet to find some guides or tutorials to finish your task. Before we end this discussion, kindly get one for a sheet of paper and answer the additional activities entitled To See is to Believe. And this time, C stands for Conclusion. Please pass all your papers. Okay, that's all for today. Goodbye, class. Literacies that incorporates my lesson are the creative literacy, multicultural literacy, digital literacy, and the financial literacy. In the evaluate part, where I require the students to create a model that illustrates the Earth's interior structure, we can find three new literacies and firstly, the financial literacy. With the use of recyclable materials, I intended that to teach the children or the students to be practical in terms of money saving and as well as being resourceful at the things that they can find on their home or in their place alone. Media literacy, when I instruct them to surf in the internet to find tutorials that can help them to finish their task, the students can learn how to access the media and can locate or identify right information that are relevant for their project. When I present images and videos through PowerPoint presentation, the students can learn how to evaluate and analyze the videos and images being presented. From this situation, they can simply identify the messages that the media are sending them. 
literacy. When I require the students to use recyclable materials, this will foster their skills in creative thinking and in creativity because they will form new ideas out of the garbage, the throne, or materials that can be used recyclably. So recyclable materials can benefit the students as well as the environment to help it maintain clean and green. In multicultural literacy, the activities done by group is considered as that because those activities will bridge the gap between diverse cultural backgrounds. This activity, students can learn how to interact with each other, communicate with each other, knowing that they have different traditions, cultures, and perspectives of their own, but still cooperate as one to achieve one's goal.